What's up guys, it's Mark from Silenced Tech. Today we're going to be checking out this beastly 1080 Ti from MSI, the Gaming X Edition. I know it's a little late getting this review out, so today I'm going to mainly focus on performance numbers in this review and it's going to be great to see how the MSI version of the 1080 Ti performs at 1440p and 4K. Before all that though, let's take a quick look at the card. As you guys know, I try to be 100% honest in all my reviews, and at first glance at this card, I was a little disappointed. Don't get me wrong, the card looks great, it's just nothing we haven't seen countless times before from MSI. The whole red and black theme works, but with the RGB craze going on at the moment, it's a real shame MSI are so adamant on keeping that red and black colour scheme. Surely they can make the card completely black, with RGB lighting and ship the card with red backlighting set at default. Let me know what your opinions are guys down in the comments section. There's no denying that the card's design is very sleek, I just find it hard to understand why MSI would want to limit their sales by only providing a card that matches with builds that are also red and black. Anyway, with the moaning out of the way, looking over the card like most 1080 Ti's, the thing is huge. While the PCB isn't particularly long, it sure makes up for it in width, that's what she said. Dimensions are 29cm in height, 14cm in length and 5cm in width, making the card take up 2.5 PCIe slots. The card still features MSI's awesome twin frozer cooler attached to a massive heatsink and it has an 8 plus 2 phase power delivery. On the back of the card there's two DisplayPort 1.4s, two HDMI 2.0s and a dual link DVI port. While benchmarking the card ran at 1961MHz on the core and 1390MHz on the memory in OC mode, I managed to increase that even further by applying a manual overclock, it boosted all the way up to 2075 megahertz on the core and 1475 megahertz on the memory. The whole time while testing and benchmarking, the card never hit any higher than 73 degrees Celsius and that's with the power draw right up to 117% on a stock fan curve. If we move on to the main event, benchmarks. Let's see how the Gaming X 1080 Ti stacks up performance wise. I've actually added a few more games into these benchmarks and it took ages to do. You'll also notice that the cards in these benchmarks are generally from only two brands but don't worry I've already contacted some other manufacturers and I'm expecting a few more 1080 Ti's landing at ST headquarters real soon.
So overall the MSI Gaming X 1080 Ti performed extremely well. I think at this point when buying a 1080 Ti, if you're lucky enough to be able to afford one, the things you should be looking out for is temperatures, noise and build quality because they all pretty much perform the same. Saying that most of the 1080 Ti's out right now hover around the same temperatures as well. This is why I made the point talking about aesthetics of the card at the start of the video because right now I feel MSI are slightly falling behind especially with the RGB craze happening right now. It's a fact that most people want RGB on everything PC related right now. Saying that I cannot fault the card otherwise it's awesome in every other department. If you have a red and black build and don't care about RGB lighting, the card gets a 10 out of 10 from me. If you do care about RGB and want a card with a new different design, MSI's Gaming X 1080 Ti probably won't be on your radar at all. And from what I've read on forums, websites and YouTube comments that's all people want right now is RGB. <laughs> Final award for MSI's Gaming X 1080 Ti regarding performance is gold and aesthetic is going to be silver. Hope you've enjoyed the review guys. My name's Mark from Silence Tech. Goodbye.